Hello, welcome to my first tutorial taking a look at how to refactor an application that was originally not designed to be unit testing to be better unit testable. The example is very simple. We are having a Hello World program here and uh, well uh, the thing is uh, the program was not designed to be very testable and uh, I will in the first place now tell you some of the drawbacks of the program design. Um, first of all, uh, the main method uh, is uh, named very generic, so uh, it could be extended in the future with other functionality. So it would be risky to uh, test the main method uh, as a whole. So. Um, first step for better testability is to extract the content of the method to a new method. Uh, I can use uh, NetBeans uh, refactoring for this, namely introduce method. Uh, the new method will be called print hello world And as you can see, now we have a new method that just contains the system out print. Okay, so does this improve the situation? Uh, yes, it improves the situation a little bit. The next problem in the class is that uh, system out is a static variable and uh, it is preset by the system. It uh, can be uh, tweaked somehow that uh, the output is redirected to some um, custom class, uh, but uh, it is not very good for unit testing. So next thing is uh, that uh, I want to do this more testable and uh, I'm doing this by checking what is happening here. So. First of all, I see that system out is a print stream. And uh, well, I am invoking the method now with a new parameter. That goes like this. Uh, there's an import missing. Here we go. So this is still the same program, but it is doing the job a little bit different. So a method is called, uh, the target print stream is passed as uh, the first parameter. And uh, now print line is uh, invoked on uh, the local variable uh, and no longer on the system out in the method. Okay, uh, next step is to write a unit test. Okay, next is to uh, start the unit test. And as you can see, uh, I have prepared a class um, that uh, will test the new method. And uh, I will start with a test method. I'm using JUnit here as a unit testing framework. And uh, well, I'm adding an assert here. Uh, well, uh, basically, I want to do this, I want to compare. This is what I want uh, in the final test uh, uh, version. I want to compare uh, the output of the method with uh, string literal. And uh, now the thing I have to do is to uh, somehow move the output of the printing to a string. So. As you can see, 
there's now the problem that uh, the that the uh, print hello world method is private and uh, I will make it default protected and uh, now I can test it uh, next is I somehow need to intercept and uh, this means um, I uh, f in every case I need a print stream And as you can see, uh, the constructors uh, say there's a lot of versions of print stream. And um, well, let's go for an output stream as a parameter. I'm uh, using a byte output stream. Oops wrong package I'm using a byte output stream I'm using a byte array output stream as the result and uh, the idea is the print stream writes its data to the byte array output stream I can uh, pass the print stream here and after that I uh, need to extract the bytes from the byte array output stream and uh, there's, a, there's a convenience method here called uh, toString uh, that will automatically convert the byte array contents to a string and uh, well let's take a look whether this works test file maven is building the project now and yeah it's a failure very good ah, and as you can see uh, well I did a little typo well it was not intentional I did a little typo. I uh, in the test I added a comma character uh, that is not in the original program. So now the test should work. It doesn't. Still fails. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. Uh, now I see the problem that still exists is a new line character that is missing in the test. Let's take a look again. Okay, now the test passes. To summarize, what have we done? Uh, first of all, uh, we've introduced a method um, and after that uh, we've uh, identified that system out is a bad idea and uh, introduced a parameter uh, that replaces uh, the direct reference to system out and uh, in the final stage uh, we uh, tweaked around uh, to get a print stream uh, that can be uh, converted or which which is uh, inputs can be converted to uh, string that can be compared to a uh, string literal and this is it i hope you liked the tutorial thumbs up if you really liked it if you have uh, proposals for other tutorials don't hesitate comment thank you